Well, hello there, and welcome to another whiteboard session here at the Equity Trust Company Virtual Classroom. I'm John Bones, and in this segment, we're going to be talking about using a self-directed IRA or self-directed 401k or other tax-advantaged investment account to invest through a real estate joint venture. In the last segment, we talked about partnering multiple disqualified persons to one another, such as your IRA with your non-IRA money or your Roth IRA with your traditional IRA or maybe your IRA with a spouse's IRA. And that with those disqualified persons partnering together, you have to make sure that all income and all expenses flows proportionate to the capital contribution. But what if you partner your IRA funds with a non-disqualified person? So let me share with you what that looks like in a real world context. So this is a real transaction that's being worked on right now between two self-directed IRA investors. Their names are Scott and Kate. And Scott and Kate are not considered disqualified persons to one another. That's why this deal works the way that it does. Scott found a deal, this property here, and he only has $24,000 in his Roth IRA, but he needs $224,000 to complete the project. Now, the property, which is being bought in an auction, is not going to require very much work whatsoever. There'll be some carrying costs. The all-in purchase and renovations will be $224,000. They plan on selling this property in less than six months. And the profit potential on this particular property is $60,000. So all in at 224, selling it after closing costs, netting a $60,000 profit. Now Scott's Roth IRA only has $24,000. So he needs to come up with the remaining $200,000. So then comes in Kate, who is Scott's real estate investor partner. Now, again, Kate and Scott are not considered disqualified persons of one another. So they're not of lineal sin or descent or spouses of one another. There's no disqualified persons involved. Therefore, they can split the profits you'll see here in any way that they should choose to negotiate. Scott's Roth IRA is creating a joint venture with Kate's Roth IRA and HSA. 24,000 in from Scott's Roth IRA, and then 200,000 coming in from Kate's Roth IRA and her health savings account. For those of you who aren't familiar, you could self-direct a health savings account into real estate as well. Now, Kate and Scott's Roth IRA will enter into a joint venture agreement. They will take title to the property as tenants and common owners. Scott's Roth IRA and Kate's HSA and Roth IRA, them on behalf of their accounts, went to a real estate attorney and that real estate attorney drafted a real estate joint venture agreement. <clears throat> and per that joint venture agreement, they have spelled out that Scott's Roth IRA will receive 70% of the net profit and Kate's Roth IRA and HSA will receive 30% of the profit. So the property has $60,000 in profit potential. Scott's Roth IRA is to receive 70% of the net profit, which is $42,000. And Kate's Roth IRA and HSA will make $18,000. So Scott's Roth IRA grows from $24,000 to over $60,000, $42,000 in profit. And that profit is tax-free because it's in his Roth IRA. And Kate is happy because as a completely passive investor partner, she's investing her $200,000, making an $18,000 profit for about a 9% cash on cash return on investment. So the Roth IRA, the HSA, and Kate's Roth IRA is all growing tax free. And through this joint venture partnership, Scott's able to negotiate a disproportionate percentage of the profits because they're not considered disqualified persons to one another. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a second, Kate put in 200,000, Scott only put 24,000 in. How can Scott negotiate 70% of the net profit giving him $42,000? Well, remember, Scott's the one that found the deal. Scott's the one that ultimately is orchestrating the entire transaction. Kate is simply a money partner on the transaction. But as you can tell here, it's a win-win deal for both Scott's Roth IRA as well as Kate's Roth IRA and HSA. I hope you guys enjoyed another whiteboard session here at Equity Trust Company on real estate joint ventures. Look forward to seeing you on the next program.